In a development that has stirred both intrigue and strategic concern, grainy but compelling footage has surfaced on Chinese social media depicting what may be the first ever glimpse of China's long-rumored H-20 stealth bomber. While official confirmation from the People's Republic of China remains absent, military analysts, aviation enthusiasts, and global defense watchers are buzzing with speculation. If real, the footage suggests that China's strategic bomber ambitions may have advanced much faster than the West, particularly the United States, had anticipated. The newly circulated video reveals a large, diamond-shaped aircraft with pronounced stealth characteristics. Unlike Northrop Grumman's B-2 or B-21 flying wing bombers, this craft features a large empennage, tail section, a wide central fuselage, and elongated wings, resembling a cranked kite layout. This isn't a clean wing design, but rather a hybrid approach to stealth, perhaps reflecting China's adaptation of both Soviet and Western stealth paradigms. Even more interestingly, the shape closely matches wind tunnel models previously leaked in 2022, suggesting a design continuity in China's aerospace R&D. These earlier models sparked artist interpretations and speculative renderings in Chinese defense circles. But now, the existence of a flying prototype lends serious weight to those predictions. The Pentagon's December 2024 China Military Power Report forecasted that the H-20 might not make its public debut for another 10 years. The report described it as a potential long-range strategic bomber with a projected range of 10,000 miles, capable of delivering both conventional and nuclear payloads. That capability would allow the bomber to strike far beyond the so-called Second Island Chain, including U.S. territories in the Pacific and even parts of the continental U.S. with aerial refueling. If the imagery now surfacing is indeed the H-20 in test flight, it contradicts the Pentagon's timeline and signals that China's stealth bomber program is far more mature than previously assessed. An industry expert has compared the aircraft's outline to the Northrop A-12 concept from the 1980s, a Cold War-era project that was ultimately canceled in favor of the B-2. The Chinese design, however, incorporates larger tail surfaces and a bulkier frame, suggesting an emphasis on multi-role endurance and payload capacity rather than pure stealth. Observers noted that the aircraft in the footage emitted a single contrail, curious for a presumed multi-engine platform, which might indicate staggered engine activation or clever exhaust management for stealth. The exhausts appear flat, likely an effort to reduce infrared and radar signatures. As seen in the video, the aircraft was being followed, though not in tight formation, by a J-16 fighter jet. While this made size comparisons difficult, it further fueled the belief that the flight was either a high-altitude test or part of a classified escort mission for a prototype. Adding to the intrigue is the timing of the footage's release, which closely followed the birthday of Mao Zedong. In China, symbolic dates are often chosen for major military or technological reveals, suggesting that the leak, if not orchestrated by the Chinese military, was at least tolerated. It also coincides with the release of separate imagery showing a medium bomber-sized aircraft and a smaller design suspected to be either a new generation fighter or autonomous combat drone. Taken together, these developments point to a coordinated message. China is accelerating its aerial warfare capabilities across multiple platforms. Just weeks ago, analysts speculated that China's recent unveiling of a medium-range stealth bomber could be a stopgap, a patch until the H-20 was ready. But the appearance of this larger strategic class aircraft may invalidate those assumptions. If the H-20 is in flight testing, it's no longer a paper project or a distant dream. It's a flying reality. That would suggest a near-future deployment timeline, potentially aligning with China's broader strategy to field a world-class military by 2035. A stealth bomber with global reach changes the strategic calculus not just in the Pacific, but worldwide. 
China's bomber fleet has so far been limited to the H-6 series, modernized versions of the Soviet-era 216, but these are not survivable in a contested, high-tech environment. An operational H-20 would give China a true nuclear triad, joining its land-based missile systems and submarine-launched ballistic missiles. It also strengthens China's ability to execute long-range precision strikes, potentially challenging U.S. dominance in key regions like the Indo-Pacific and beyond. Moreover, the stealth element enhances survivability against advanced radar and missile defense systems, a capability that is central to China's stated doctrine of asymmetric warfare. In parallel, new imagery has emerged of the KJ-3000, a next-generation airborne warning and control system, AWACS, aircraft based on the Y-20 cargo platform. The KJ-3000 features a rotating radar dome and multiple electronic warfare appendages, signaling China's intent to gain command and control superiority in future conflicts. The KJ-3000 and H-20 together suggest a strategy of integrated air dominance, not just platform development. A U.S. Air Force official recently commented that the emergence of these platforms is consistent with our understanding of China's strategic objectives. However, they also cautioned that high-end hardware requires elite training and operational mastery, skills that take years to cultivate. Still, Washington cannot afford complacency. The pace and secrecy of China's advancements underscore the urgency for the U.S. and its allies to invest in next-gen systems like the B-21 Raider, hypersonic interceptors, and resilient satellite communications. If this stealth aircraft is indeed the H-20, the world may be witnessing the dawn of a new chapter in 21st century strategic aviation, one that puts China squarely in the league of global aerial superpowers.